What's the best photogrammetry app for generating a 3D model of a house or building using just a smartphone camera? I'm interested in apps that are free, that ideally run on both iOS and Android and don't rely on LiDAR technology, but instead are just utilizing your smartphone's camera. For me, I want something that will produce a fairly clean model that I can use to generate UV outlines for designing projection mapping video content. But you might need a 3D model for something else, maybe a building project, an architectural visualization, or a creative art project. I'll discount a few right off the bat. Clone app needs a special mat, so obviously that's not going to work for a building. Magic plan is intended for interior rooms and I couldn't get it to produce any intelligible results for the exterior of a building. Scandi Pro is iOS only and is primarily for scanning faces. I didn't get any form of workable result from pointing my camera at a building. Now let's look at some proper contenders. Kiri Engine app is available for iOS and Android. When I open the app, there are some tutorials for how the app works and tips for getting a good scan. Once I move past these, I'm starting a new project with the plus icon and choosing to take photos since it's a premium feature to upload from my album. I give camera permissions and then there's some more videos with tips for how to get a good scan. So I'm just moving around the house taking photos. I can see the bar at the bottom showing my progress. The more photos you take, the better the results you can expect. Now I got caught out because the free version has a 70 photo limit. What that meant is that I'd taken loads of photos of the left side of the house and hadn't taken that many of the right before I reached the limit. So we'll see if that impacts the results. I name my model, leave it on high face counts and texture quality. I ideally want an OBJ format. I hit upload and the process kicks off. Now it's processed, let's take a look. That looks promising. To export it, I need to sign up, which I do. Once I'm signed in, I can access the export options. Here I can see I have three free export coupons and I redeem one and a download link is emailed to me. I download the model and open it in Blender to take a look. First impressions are that it's pretty good. As I'd suspected, the part of the house on the right, where I didn't take as many photos as I did for the left side, doesn't look brilliant. But I think if I'd used my 70 photos better, those results would be improved on that right side. Some of this texture detail is really quite good. This log pile, for example, is really detailed. The geometry doesn't have any massive holes or major issues. The mesh is fairly dense in detailed areas, but what's really nice is the app also generates a low poly version, which is much lighter. Overall, I'm impressed. Now for Turnio Plus. This is an Apple iOS only app. Opening it up, I press the plus to start a new project. You can see there that I get 10 scans for free. By selecting AR Capture, I can use my camera once I give it access. By moving around the house, the camera builds up a point cloud of data. The ring around the stop icon gives an indication, I assume, of how close I am to gathering enough data. The app also invites me to add photos, which it says improves detail and textures, so I'll do that. I take 99 images, all from slightly different angles, and add them to the project and start processing the scan. Once that's complete, I can see my model, which looks pretty good. But when it comes to exporting, I see that I need to subscribe. It's just under $5 as a one-time payment to unlock that feature, which could be worth it. I'm going to keep looking for a totally free option before I part with any money. 3D Photos relies on taking photos on phone and then sending those to a desktop app. It's iOS only. I start a new project and am able to take photos. I can also import photos already on my camera roll, so I select all of those. I then need to send those to my Mac to be processed into a 3D model, but unfortunately using the send function within the app crashed every time. So I sent them manually and imported them into the desktop app, only to encounter an error and be told that my machine didn't have 
the four gigabytes of VRAM needed to generate the model. So check your machine is up to spec. That's the end of the road for me with this one. On to WIDAR or WIDAR. I'm gonna call it WIDAR. This is available for Apple iOS and Android. There's a tutorial introduction and you first need to give some permissions. Then I'll say that I'm primarily interested in scanning. At this point, I need to create an account, which I do. I create a new project and go through the now familiar steps of taking lots of photos from lots of different points of view. When I reach 70 images, I decide to leave it there and I upload the photos, which will then go on to be processed. When complete, I can look at my 3D model. There's also a variety of editing tools and other features in here. I can share and export several different 3D model formats, including OBJ, and there are various options for sharing the file. I airdropped it to my MacBook, but there are other options here, including email. This model looks good to me, no major holds or issues. The texture detail is pretty good and the model isn't crazy dense. Happy with these results overall. Magiscan is available for Android and iOS. Initially, I'm concerned that it's not going to work because it's geared up for the user to move 360 degrees around an object, which I'm not able to do so easily with the building. Even so, once the photos have uploaded and processed, the model comes out looking decent at least. However, no free export options with this app. Pix4D Catch is available on iOS and Android. Opening Pix4D Catch takes you straight into a camera capture mode where you're expected to move around the object to be scanned while the app builds up a data point cloud. When I'm done, I hit pause and I'm prompted to save the project. Here I can see my captured data points. If I want to upload and process the data, I need to make an account for Pix4D Cloud. I sign up to the 15 day free trial and then I'm able to upload the data set. I get an email once the data is processed, which takes me to my project in a web browser. I can also get there via cloud.pix4d.com and signing in. I can view my house either as a point cloud or a 3D textured mesh. I'm interested in the textured mesh and I can download the mesh as an OBJ. Looking at the OBJ in Blender, it seems okay. The mesh is pretty dense and there are some issues, but the main features are there and the texture detail isn't bad. Pretty good results from Pix4D Catch. On to photogrammetry for 3D scan. This is an Apple iOS only app. I couldn't get this to work. I couldn't get it to register any captures. Tell me in the comments if I'm missing something obvious and being an idiot, moving on. Spectre 3D is for iOS and Android. Instead of photos, this app captures a continuous video as I move around the building. Once uploaded, it produced a 3D model, but it didn't look good. Next, Patchy Scan. This is iOS only. I got some bonkers results, so didn't spend too long with this one. Now Metascan, which is iOS only. With tutorials and granting permissions out of the way, again, it's a case of taking lots of photos. When finished, I can see all my images and it says there I have five free photo scans left. Now processing is complete, I can see my model and there are some nice tools for straightening it up on the three axes and some other editing tools in here. But when it comes to exporting, OBJ is a pro feature. All I can have for free is a USDZ file, which isn't very versatile, especially not for bringing into 3D modeling packages like Blender. Onto Polycam, which is iOS and Android compatible. Upon opening the app, you're asked to make an account, but you can skip this stage. It asks for a bit of info about your use of the app. After granting permissions, it's the familiar process of using either photo or video to capture data about the building with my phone's camera. I choose photos and take over 150 before pressing done. I select full detail and keep object masking off. By selecting upload and process, I'm asked again to make an account, but I choose not now. Now processing has completed, I can see a decent looking model and there are some interesting tools in here for marking up, measuring, cropping and so on. But when it comes to exporting, the most versatile 3D formats are restricted to the Pro account, unfortunately. 
Hover is available for iOS and Android. This isn't strictly a photogrammetry app, but it is marketed as being able to generate a 3D model of a building from photos. I start a new capture with the plus icon. I enter a name and location. The app wants eight images, four sides of the building and three quarter views of the corners. That's a problem for me because the house is semi-detached and also access is limited and visibility is obscured by trees and other landscaping. I did the best I could and waited for it to process. Now it's complete, I can select design in 3D to see my model. I can see it's incomplete and doesn't capture the features of the house very accurately. The color is wrong, the door is off center in the porch, so this isn't accurate enough to compete with the photogrammetry apps. I also couldn't see any options to export a 3D model. So that's the end of my list and what can I conclude? My top picks are Kiri Engine, Widar and Pix4D Catch. All three produced a decent 3D model and I didn't have to part with any money. Kiri Engine has the nice feature of giving you both a low and high poly version of your model. I also think it produced the best high resolution texture on the model. It's worth noting that you only get three free coupons before you need to start paying if you've got multiple projects in mind. Pix4D Catch also relied upon a 15 day free trial after which I'd need to start paying for the service. The results from Pix4D Catch were pretty good, although it produced quite a dense model that did have a few issues here and there. Widar, I think, provided the best results overall. The model wasn't too heavy and didn't have any issues, and as far as I can tell, this is a completely free app without any restrictions or limitations. So there you have it, Kiri Engine, Pix4D Catch, and particularly Widar are my top three photogrammetry apps for generating a 3D model of a house or building using just my smartphone camera. Tell me in the comments, are there any apps I've missed? Do you have a suggestion you think I should try? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.